But guys, we are going to be talking about some anime before we go any further because it has been a while since I've done an anime news stream and uh, the reason for that is basically because there's not really been any big anime announcements in the past few months until this month for some reason. Uh, it was like two months where I was going through every bit of anime news and I'm like, there is nothing exciting to talk about. And then this month, suddenly it's like the floodgate just opened. Everyone started announcing shit and there's a bunch of exciting things that I want to talk about. <clears throat> so, the first thing I want to talk about, and it is coming to the end of the year. Is this working now? Oh, oh, it's finally working. Oh, it's finally working. All right. It is coming to the end of the year, and my I myself, uh, I am going to be working on my best of anime 2023. I haven't finalized my list yet. I have a few favorites that I am going to keep a secret so I don't spoil my own video, but we are starting to get the review of everything that represented this year in terms of anime and in terms of manga as well, because Oricon, that was, that was a bit of a uh, letdown, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, because we have just gotten data for the top selling manga in 2023. And uh, this is always interesting to me because, okay, you might have your favorite mangas, you might have your favorite things that you wanna talk about, but this is data and data does not care about your feelings. You wanna call One Piece mid? You wanna call Jujutsu Kaisen mid? Well, too bad because they're probably going to be on this list. So. I have not gone through this list yet, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what did sell well this year compared to what I thought people talked about and what I thought were the hottest manga and titles of the year. So, at number 10, so we have the top 10 for this one, uh, but I think uh, we, we'll go through like there was the top 25, but we'll go through the top 10 first. At number 10, we have... Kingdom, okay, holy shit, thank you. Kingdom is still relevant, oh. Oh, my boys deserved, deserved, absolutely deserved. Kingdom's such a weird enigma for me because I very rarely run into someone that has like watched or read Kingdom. Um, in my day-to-day -day life, I don't know where all my fellow Kingdom fans are hiding because in my eyes this is like one of the top selling mangas of all time uh but i don't know where the fuck you guys are where are you where are you guys please please how i haven't read the new arc yet i have not read the new arc either <laughs> just guys guys okay so i'm not caught up to it but not being caught up i'm still like 500 chapters in, all right? I'm, I'm still, I, it's not like, it's not like I am, uh, I've, it's not like I've not read a fair bit of Kingdom, guys. I'm like a good 500 chapters in. Uh, one thing I do not understand, right, about Kingdom is that it is the top selling, it is the top 10 selling manga of this year. It is, I believe, one of the best selling mangas uh, and one of the best seinen, se selling seinen series. Why does not, why does this not have an official release? I just, that's, that's one thing that blows my mind. This is one of the greatest manga, in my opinion, to ever be made. It is by far, like, it is, to me, the manga that has depicted large scales, large scale battles better than any other piece of media I have ever seen in my life. To me, it has one of my favorite anime arcs. It's anime arcs. It has one of my favorite manga arcs of all time. Better than Lord of the Rings? I mean, okay, I've only seen scenes of Lord of the Rings. Coalition, you, you know, man, the Coalition arc is fucking insane. A coalition arc is God tier, man. 
it, it is it is crazy it, it is it is crazy but yeah to me the thing about kingdom that sets it apart is how it depicts large-scale battles and how ah oh, I, I'm I, I, I can't break it down because it goes so in detail about how one person can change a tide of a battle while never making it seem like any large-scale battle is only dependent on one person you know it's there's so many different factors so many different chess pieces that are going into play and one of the things that i can really respect about the battles in kingdom is you know how when you have a smart anime character well how do you how do you portray that there is a super smart anime character or manga character well normally you pit this really smart anime character against this really dumb anime character to make the smart anime character look smarter one thing that is insane about kingdom's writing is that you can have two generals going up against each other and it's it or it they make it portray it like these two generals are like 200 IQ each and the winning side is always like one person is thinking 23 moves ahead and it's just the other person who just happens to be thinking 24 moves ahead because they are both fucking geniuses and and the way they build up every single character in this to make them feel like an absolute monster that you cannot you cannot even comprehend and yet make it seem like the smart the the slightly smarter or better general comes up on top just because he has more stats put into just one tiny little bit it is so fucking incredible how it manages to do that um and yeah it is one of the greatest mangas of all time i it's one of my favorite mangas of all time and more people should be reading it so where do i read it <laughs> that's the unfortunate question where where can you read it um but yeah it is it is one of the greatest mangas of all time all right moving on to number nine we have tokyo revengers okay i thought this had already ended did did this end this year did this end this year popular in china <laughs> checks out checks out who who invited blood to the party <laughs> okay uh, gotta be fake numbers? No, I, I don't think it is fake number. This is definitely not fake numbers, man. Holy shit, you guys are- you- yo, yo, you guys are going crazy, man. You guys are going crazy. Look, I- this doesn't surprise me. I am not a big Tokyo Revengers fan. Um, I- I got through a uh, part way through the first season and it just didn't grab me, but I cannot deny that Tokyo Revengers is fucking popular. All right, let's it's popular in Japan. Okay. Here's what I here's what I will say. If Tokyo if Tumblr still existed, this shit would be all over Tumblr, okay? That's <laughs> that's that's like that's the target demographic that I'm not in, but there but all of the Tumblr users had to go somewhere, okay? And they still exist. Tumblr's, <laughs> Tumblr still exists. Okay, Tumblr still exists technically, but in spirits, um, everyone went to other places, mostly Twitter, right? But if Tumblr still was in its peak, you would see this shit everywhere. I swear to God. And this is... I still see this very, very popular in certain circles. It is super, super popular in Japan. Um, I cannot comment on it because I personally have not gotten that far into it. Didn't really grab me so much. And I heard, um, from fellow, from some sources that it kind of falls off. So I, I didn't really have any, um, I didn't really have any push to continue reading what uh, I didn't read before. Fangirls carrying this manga, maybe. Yeah, this uh, this had a, this has a lot of fangirls, but not just fangirls either. It's 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 more than just fangirls, but this has a very very big uh, fan base. 
they're way more vocal than the Kingdom fan base. So, like I said, where 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 are my Kingdom bros, man? Where are my Kingdom bros? How 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 have I seen more people talking about Tokyo Revengers when Peak is just behind it, man? All right. Moving on to number eight, we have My Hero Academia. Well, this is not so surprising, uh, considering I believe that we are going into its final arc right now. Is that correct? Is that correct? That's lower than expected. That's about where I expected it to be, in my opinion. Um, it would be interesting way. Let me let me search up last year's best selling and see where it was on the list. Best selling manga 2022. Okay, so where was it in 2022? Oof. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so here it is. So it went from. <laughs> It dropped from uh, number five uh, to number uh, number seven. So <laughs> people saying it fall fell off. This this is this is even this is even more painful, guys. Kingdom Kingdom was number six last year, and it's gone to number ten. <laughs> but that didn't fall off, okay? That didn't fall off. <laughs> All right. All right. Just 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 to just to level. Just to level the playing field, okay? Just to level the playing field. Maybe, maybe we just have other mangas that fell on, all right? Maybe it didn't fall off. Maybe it didn't fall off. But unsurprisingly, My Hero Academia is still in the top 10. I do not believe that it will fall off the top 10 before it completely finishes. I can't wait to see if this quote ages well or not. But I think even though a lot of us have fallen out of love with the original passion we had for My Hero Academia. It's still always going to be relevant. It's still one of the biggest shonen that is currently serializing right now. And um, like, if this is one of the weakest popular manga that is coming out, then Shonen Jump is doing a lot of things right. Where's Kagurabachi? <laughs> Bro, it's got one chapter. It's got like a few chapters out. <laughs> the manga didn't fall off? Well, yeah, I'm only an anime watcher, and yeah, season six was definitely the strongest season, so I don't know if that's going to be the peak, or if it's going to continue going, um, going up and being better. Okay. Moving on to number seven, we got Spy Family. Damn, Spy Family above my hero? Wow, a gag manga be above my hero? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Actually, I, I was I wasn't expecting that. Um, maybe I was considering Spy the Spy Family anime was airing this year. Maybe that gave maybe that gave it a big push. But I you don't normally see comedy and gag manga going above like shonen action shows. So does this make, does this say more about My Hero or does it say more about Spy Family? Either way, Spy Family is just one of the, is safe a backhanded compliment? I don't know if safe is a backhanded compliment um, because to me, it is one of like the safest series and the safest like, no it isn't. It's, it's just very safe. And I am very, it's a very good, manga and anime and you always know what you're getting into spy family and it's always just consistent and it's never let me down but it's never made me look back and think damn that was a fucking banger moment or that was a fucking amazing moment i just i just come out of spy x family feeling good no matter what very very feel good series boring no i don't think it's boring it's just you know what you're getting out of Spy Family, and it always delivers. And it always delivers what you're expecting it to deliver. And sometimes, that's all you need. So, number seven, definitely deserved. <clears throat> Going on to number six, Slam Dunk? <laughs> Slam Dunk is number six? <gasps> oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> Slam Dunk being like, yo, yo, I got one more year in me. I got one more year. It's been like, what, 20 years or something since this series? Yo, I got, yo, I'm still relevant, baby. I'm still relevant. That's why it's the GOAT, baby. The GOAT. It's never going to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> the movie oh yes yes the movie did come out this year but still even with the movie coming out with like even with the movie coming out the fact that slam dunk can be number six when when did slam dunk stop serializing i don't know why this is uh in caps it ended in 1996. Ended in 1996. <laughs> and and uh, it is still the number six top selling manga of all time. That is insane. I know it had a movie out, but still. The fact that this is like... How many years? It's like over 20 years old. Um, Jesus, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying to process, I'm, I'm trying to process that, how insane, how, how insane that is. It's almost as old as me. It's almost as old as me. 27 years? Classic, but old. That just shows, that just shows, you know what, guys, you know what? Class is permanent. Class is permanent, okay? That's, that's how you know there's a classic here, when you can be 27 years later and it's still relevant, all right? It's still relevant. I'm older than Slam Dunk. I'm old. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Moving on. But I will say, I will say at number six, of course. Of course I'm going to say it's deserved. It's Slam Dunk, God damn it. One of my, I, I personally think Slam Dunk is the greatest sports manga of all time. Um... I don't think it's the greatest sports anime of all time, but in terms of sports manga, it is legendary. And I will happily accept it being number six 27 years later. Moving on to number five. <clears throat> all right, we're getting into the big boy numbers now. We have Chainsaw Man. Okay. Did I expect this to be higher? Yeah, I guess, I guess, okay, actually, where did it rank last year? Where did it rank last year? Because... Did it rank lower last year? Oh, it, oh, oh, it, it was number eight last year? Damn. Okay, I thought Chainsaw Man was, I thought Chainsaw Man was only going, to, like, was more popular last year because of the anime release. So that is surprising that it's gotten even more popular. Only two volumes last year. Part two got more volume releases this year. Yeah, I've heard part two is really, really fucking good. Didn't the anime release pretty late last year? I'm trying to remember. It's been a very, very long time. Shit. Oh yeah, it did kind of release pretty late this year. Okay, okay. So it's only getting more popular. It's funny. I kind of feel like, and this isn't, this isn't a comment on the quality of the stories, right? But I feel, and Chainsaw Man fans, just, just, just put away the chainsaws for a second, but I kind of feel that Chainsaw Man has gotten overshadowed by the popularity of Jujutsu Kaisen. I kind of feel like people say, people thought Hi, that- my name is Grant and I'm Garn's twin brother. He was hiding me from you all. All this time, he Thank was also much. keeping me in his closet. Now time for revenge. I'm Thank gonna replace all his gacha waifus with Paimon. Thank you very much. But, I feel like before the Chainsaw anime aired, everyone was just like, this is going to blow up the anime community. This is going to take over everyone. The anime community is only going to be talking about Chainsaw Man. And I feel like... Jujutsu Kaisen has done what everyone thought Chainsaw Man would do. Maybe this is going to change when we get more seasons and more episodes of Chainsaw Man. Um, I will say right now, Mappa, 
please take your fucking time i can wait don't 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 worry don't worry <laughs> don't worry i'm 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 not i'm i'm not counting down the days mapper I'm, I'm, I'm not counting down the days so don't, don't worry mapper don't worry but um i feel like the 12 episodes of chainsaw man did not work no did not work did not work as hard <laughs> did not did not impact the community as hard as i thought as everyone thought it would. Jujutsu Kaisen, on the other hand, has, you know, I'm calling it now. I, I've, I think it's gonna be the top selling manga of this year. I can't think of any manga that's going to be the best selling manga of this year. But Chainsaw Man at number five, which means One Piece is gonna be up there. I, I'm calling it now. One Piece is gonna be up there. Um, is it gonna be the next one? Oshinoko, oh my God. It's that popular? Oshinoko is that popular? Damn! Holy shit! The opening is carrying this man! <laughs> the, yo! Yo! Yo Asabi be like, I did that. I did that. Yo Asabi be like, oh yeah, it's, don't worry, top selling, top selling song on uh, Billboard, number one song on Billboard. I did that guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I would say that this is definitely deserve not just the opening i feel like the opening sometime okay there are some shows right there are some shows where all right the show got popular but sometimes the opening has a cultural hit that just makes like makes the culture impact just so much higher i skip a lot of openings but i can't deny how big of an impact openings can have because God forbid, I don't know how shows like, I don't know how anime like Tokyo Ghoul got so popular if the opening didn't exist, you know? <laughs> okay, no one talks about fucking Fire Force, but everyone knows about Fire Force because the first opening was a fucking banger, all right? Noragami, all right, I'm still gonna say Noragami is overrated, but holy shit, let's just say the openings of Noragami is, they <laughs> are insane, all right? And there's a reason why, like, these shows are one of the most popular shows you can find in my anime list, all right? <laughs> L take. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna live by that take. I'm gonna live by that take. Um... <clears throat> so yes, Oshinoko, the anime, did get popular, but holy shit, did its opening just completely blow up. All right, there have been popular anime before, and even popular anime don't get number one on the Billboard Top 100. That is, that's just a, like another level of reach. Having said that, I have seen mixed reactions with a lot of people I've talked to with the Oshinoko anime, and I'm not just talking about Connor. I don't count Connor in this, okay? I, I, don't, I don't count Connor in this. I feel like a lot, I, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is a common reaction, but I feel like a lot of people got immediately hooked in with the first episode. And then because of these expectations, they didn't feel like the rest of the series hit as hard or was as interesting as that very first episode. I watched the first episode and dipped. Yeah, that pretty much is a very popular opinion that I have heard in in Oshinoko. Um, Oshinoko is just harem shit. <laughs> the reality show arc is great. What do you mean? Yeah. <clears throat> like to me, I really enjoyed Oshinoko, but I can personally understand the opinion that the first episode gave an impression that it was a totally different show than what it was going to be. To me, I knew that it was going to be kind of like a Black Mirror-esque kind of take on the entertainment industry, and I like that shit. Um, but I, what I will say, it is definitely not what the first episode portrayed it to be, because the first episode portrayed it to be a fucking murder mystery. Um, so, it's... I mean, let's just... The first opening chapter and the first few opening episodes, they were fucking weird, okay? <laughs> it's, 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 it's kind of weird to see how Oshinoko 
as a story has evolved from the first episode, which is just me doing fucking backflips on how, on like the different plots, on the plot progression of what happens, because we have like fucking reincarnation, we have babies that can talk, we have all this like weird shit. Um, and, and, then, and, then, and then it like knuckles down on being a kind of like darker take on the entertainment industry. One thing that does surprise me is um I'm not sure how popular Kaguya Summer is, but I feel like I'm not sure if Kaguya Summer has ever been in the top ten. Let me see if Kaguya Summer was here last year. No, Kaguya Summer wasn't in the top ten last year. Um Like <clears throat> What this proves is uh, Aka Akasaka just Aka Akasaka just doesn't miss. Somehow everything he he writes, everything he's involved with, just sells really goddamn well. I'm still a few arcs behind in the manga. I've heard about the latest developments, but I've heard that it's coming to an end. So I'll probably catch up because I can't wait for the shitstorm. Because one thing I wasn't really expecting was the whole harem aspect of it and i mean you know some people didn't like the harem aspect of it i always love harem aspects in anime uh not because of the harem aspects particularly but it just brings a new layer of salt into the fandom <laughs> true isekai fan <laughs> It just brings a new level of salt into the fandom that just makes catching up with harem anime just that much more enjoyable. That it is, it is, ooh, ooh. Just give me the salt, give me the spice, man. Give me the salt, give me the spice. <clears throat> Are you saying it adds seasoning? I, I, that is 100% what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, it's good. I'm... <clears throat> I'm happy to see Oshinoko at number four of the top selling manga this year. At number three, it's gotta be his One Piece top two? That means, oh, there it is. There it is. We have One Piece at number three. I mean, One Piece, the biggest news every year is, is One Piece going to be number one? <laughs> Or is it not? And you know an anime has gotten popular if it if it ends up beating One Piece as the top selling manga of the year. But the fact that it's number three is uh, not very surprising. I'm actually maybe even surprised that it's number three because that means there are two manga that outsold One Piece last year. Two manga. I can't, I can't think, I, I generally can't think of two manga that outsold One Piece last year, um, because there's gonna be Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't, I don't know. I, I can't think. What could have possibly outsold One Piece? I'm, I'm genuinely like, generally I don't fucking know. Um, so what's going to be a number two? Because if Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm trying to think. Just, is it gonna be some fucking wild card or something? I'm trying to think what of other what other big shonen. If something like Bleach or something is up. <laughs> Guys, I got it, I got it, I got it guys, I got it. Boruto! The Boruto the Boruto time skip is what that that just hit different, man. Kagurabachi maybe? Kagurabachi taking over Taking over the ad, the, taking over the manga industry. I, I ain't ready, man. I ain't ready. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's Demon Slayer, if Demon Slayer is if Demon Slayer is fucking haunting me again, <laughs> if Demon Slayer is haunting me again, I just I, I, I can't, I can't, guys. <laughs> I can't. All right, at number two for the top selling manga of this year, it is Jujutsu Kaisen. No. No, 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 Jujutsu Kaisen was number two this year? It was number two? Oh no, wait, 
There was something that was more popular than the Jujutsu Kaisen. What? I I am I am amazed. I I am amazed but scared because to me, from my opinion, nothing eclipsed Jujutsu Kaisen in the Western anime community. Um like Jujutsu Kaisen blew up and has just gotten progressively more popular and with season two airing right now it is just hitting new heights of popularity with the anime community um and it's definitely going to be like it, it is just the show of 2023 that just like took over popularity <sighs> all right which means the number one top selling manga of 2023 is off. <gasps> all right, all right. You had me worried there for a second. You had me worried there for a second, but shit, really? Blue lock. Wait, wait, guys, guys. The World Cup wasn't this year, right? I'm- the World Cup wasn't this year, right? It's- <laughs> Okay, okay. I- I swear to god it was- Wasn't this last year? Was- wasn't this last year? Oh, it was in December! Oh shit, you're right, I completely forgot! Oh my god! <laughs> I- for, for some reason I was like, Summer this year? No, it wasn't. I swear to god, I- I am not getting dementia this- I'm not getting dementia this much. I'm not gonna get. Okay, okay, okay. Checks out. Checks out. Makes sense. Um, Blue Lock, man. The world. I. Uh, you thought that the Oshinoko anime opening carried. Well, let me tell you, the Japan team absolutely carried Blue Lock sales to the fucking bank, man. <laughs> Yusuke Nomura. <laughs> Uh, Yusuke Nomura was like watching the Japan team and he was like oh, oh, I'm just oh, I can smell the money. Oh, oh, oh get get further get further, please, please and to be fair rightly so because uh, Japan did fucking amazingly last year in the World Cup How was the Japan team def how how Japan team defeated Germany and I believe Spain? Right as well, I, I, they, they defeated two massive teams, if I remember correctly. What they drew with Spain, I can't, I can't remember which one. I can't remember which one, it's, it's been a while. But, unfortunately, Blue Lock did lose out to the better sports anime and sports manga that aired that year, which was the World Cup itself. Um, unfortunately... <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, the World Cup had the greatest storylines of the entire year in terms of sports. <laughs> it's just, it's, it wasn't even top two, okay? Because the League of Legends World Final that year was also an incredible storyline. And uh, we just got two of the greatest World Finals uh, in basically the history of their respective sports. What can I say? What can I say, guys? What can I say? <laughs> What the hell top selling? Yeah, so now that this was surprising, but now that I think about it, this does make sense. World Cup kind of carrying. Um, <clears throat> the World Cup definitely carried this. Makes a lot of sense. And uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the most different sports anime that has aired in a while. Personally, I am okay with Blue Lock. I personally liked it a lot more when I was watching the first half of the anime, and then I didn't unlike it, but I think the fact that I was watching the World Cup, I think I would like, I think to me, I was like, damn, this ain't as, this, this ain't as hype as the World Cup though. I think I'd rather watch real football. <laughs> I think I'd actually rather watch real football than, uh, uh, so, so uh, that, was, that, was, that was a big thing about me and Blue Lock. <laughs> But it's, it's, still, it's still a really good sports anime, and I think uh, I'm, I'm about like 100 chapters into the manga as well. Does, does it continue getting better? Because I'm about 100 chapters in, and it's been put on hold for... I've put it on hold for about like six months or now. Yes, it does. Nope. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it, it's getting more insane. All right. All right. <clears throat> okay. And uh, that was the top selling manga of 2023. Let's have a look at what else was on the ranking list. So obviously we stopped at Kingdom. So Blue Lock had 10.5 million sales. So in the top 25 or the top 20, we have Free Ren. All right, all right. Is, I'm, I'm surprised Free Ren was this popular despite the fact that the anime just came out. I, I see this, if, if this is in the top 20, I'm not sure if this top 20 is in order. If it's not in order, uh, I would, if it is in order, I would say that with how hard the anime is going right now, this has a chance to be in top 10 next year. This, this, has, this has a chance to be in top 10 next year. Um, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, that's still, that's still really popular. Damn, okay. My, my, my fellow, my fellow isekai trash men carrying, man. My fellow, my fellow isekai trash men carrying. It's still good. <clears throat> I have not caught up with slime in a while. Um, last time I read slime, I think there was the fight between Rimuru and uh, that dickhead, that dickhead guy. So it's been a while since I caught up. Um... But it was it was good. The puppet the puppeter Clayman? Yeah, Clayman. That was that was when I last read. Bro, are you behind? I'm behind on a lot. But it's good. It, it's a fucking manga, bro. It's a manga, man. It will take me like two hours to catch up. At most. <laughs> but uh it was it was really, really good. <clears throat> Apothecary Diaries. This Here's the thing. <clears throat> here's the thing. I'm enjoying Apothecary Diaries. I'm always surprised to see what the top selling manga are because prior to the anime being announced, I don't know nothing about it. I, I, I don't know where these manga reading, I don't know where these manga readers are hiding because if it, were, if it was the top selling manga of 2023 and also the anime is airing and also there were a lot of manga fans, I'm like, where are you guys? Where are you? I know you must exist. I know you must exist, guys. Cause you guys are buying the manga. Where are you guys? Where are you? Kingdom fans, hello? Hello, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm a Kingdom fan. I wanna, I wanna have a conversation about these kinds of manga, these kinds of titles to people around me. And yet, I don't know where you guys are. I don't know where you guys are. It's not that popular go globally. See, it's funny because this was Apothecary Diaries was that manga reader show where the trailer release and every manga reader was like, Yo, I've been looking forward to this for 200,000 years. And I'm like, yeah, I, I believe it now. This was one of the top selling manga. <clears throat> Welcome to Demon School Irumakun. I did not realize that this was that popular. I need to watch this show. <laughs> I, I need this. This is one title that I need to watch. Um, Kaiju number eight. I have read the first 20 or so chapters of Kaiju number eight, and it's good. It's fun. It's, it's good shonen fun. I am waiting for the anime to <laughs> the better My Hero Academia, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Don't, why, why you gotta do My Hero like that, man? Man, My Hero is good. What are you talking about? He had a tournament arc, man. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, Kaiju number eight. I enjoyed it. Uh, not, I didn't see enough for me to form a popular opinion on it, but I enjoyed what I saw. And I was like, I am going to wait for the anime to air, which I believe the anime is airing next year, if I'm correct. Um, but yeah. Do not say mystery. I, this is, I am not even. Chad, do you know what this is? Anyone heard of this? Manga readers, manga readers, you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna come out? Do you wanna come out? Come out your bubble? I, I, so, okay, the fuck is that? The fuck? All right. <clears throat> All right, one person says it's really good. <laughs> never heard, never heard? Okay. So when this gets an anime, I will know that 
You fucking manga readers that were like, I've been waiting for this. This is one of the most popular manga. <laughs> I would be like, <laughs> I'd be like, actually, no, no one had heard of this. Uh, let me see what this is. Don't call it mystery. Okay, it is a Jose manga. <laughs> All right, okay. Now I know why you guys haven't watched that. That is, that is, that is not my audience's target demographic at all. All right, <laughs> checks out. <laughs> checks out, actually. <clears throat> All right, Sakamoto Days. I also believe this is getting, um, this is getting an anime next year, right? How many of these are not shown in jump titles? Okay, we got Mashal, Magic and Muscle. All right, all right. Um, yeah, I I really enjoyed Mashal this year. I wouldn't say it's the greatest shonen of all time, but it is definitely just good shonen junk food. And I have read a lot of the manga for this one as well. And yeah. It is very enjoyable. It is mid at best. No, it is not mid. It is a good. It's just good. It's just good. It's not amazing, but apparently now just just good is just mid. <laughs> just good is mid. You voicing it so it's good. Actually, you're right. You're right. The like the sub that was just good. If you watch the dub, then it gets into god tier. Then it gets into god tier. What can I say? Um. Awashi, I'm happy that Awashi did not get completely overshadowed by Blue Lock because I think that this is just as good of a sports, of a football anime or football manga as Blue Lock. Um, it's a completely different type of sports anime. Um, Blue Lock is way more, let's say, Awashi is, I think, a bit more character based and a bit more based in realism. And Blue Lock is just fucking insane. <laughs> you you have, you have two types of football anime. But also, I also think that the World Cup helped a lot with this one. Detective Conan, this should be no surprise at all. <clears throat> Toilet Bound Hanako kun? Is this that popular? Is this what I. Oh, okay, yes, this is that popular. I completely, I don't know why. Uh, in my mind, I was like, oh, this is Mieraku-kun. Um, but no, this is Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. Um, I forgot about this one, but also this one has such a dedicated fan base that every time I mention it, five people pop up and they're like, this, I fucking love this show. Um, this is also, I believe, if, if this is also, I believe, if Tumblr still existed, this would also be everywhere. Um, I don't see it so much in my Twitter timeline, but that's because my Twitter timeline is now just filled with fucking free rent loot for some reason. That's not a complaint. Is it good though? I honestly have not watched the anime of it, so I can't say, but I do know it has a very, very dedicated fan base. All right, my love story with Yamada Kun. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I. This. This is. This is my strategic hot take. This is the mid show. This. You. You want to say what the mid show is? This is the mid show, okay? This, I said it, okay? I said it, all right? This is the mid show. Oh, I, I really, really wanted to like my love story with Yamada kun. Just say so you don't like romance. I fucking love romance shows, man. I like romance shows. Um, I feel, okay. There are there are two things, okay? There, there there are two things about my love story with Yamadakun. Number one, I feel like number one, we were just so fucking starved of shoujo romances with a main female lead that everyone everyone was like, holy shit, finally a new fucking anime with a female lead that's a shoujo romance. And then 
And then everyone was just like, oh my God, this is great. This is great. And that's because we just have not been eating well at all. We just, Shoujo romances have just, show, like Shoujo fans have just not been eating well at all prior to this year. Um, and also number two, it has a gamer in it, guys. It has a gamer in it. Oh my God, it has a gamer in it. <sighs> just like, what? What I could not, like, what I could not get into this anime like what the reason i cannot invest into this romance is that the main duo uh for like the eight episodes of or something that i watch of yamadakin um the main duo just have like negative chemistry and like i you like i'm meant to be invested in this like couple where they just have like fucking negative chemistry i swear to god um i'm like the one scene where i was like why why are they trying to like push this couple it's like it's like the one scene where they're just standing in silence on a train and she's just like ooh, ooh, i i i just like it's awkward because i don't know what to say and it's it's just awkward and i'm like bro then what then what then why are you pushing this romance like imagine that in real life if even real life there's just two people and it's just like awkward silence when they sh when they hang out i'm just like what there, there is no chemistry here there is there is no chemistry <laughs> and, and 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 i'm like and and i don't i don't understand i don't understand where the romance is coming from guys <laughs> just like me for real for real <laughs> Typ typical typical game of romance am i right guys <laughs> typical game of romance <laughs> and um <clears throat> yeah i just i i just was not invested in this couple at all because they just had no chemistry also like i think the girl went from like being a hot mess to being like a bit of a too much they were trying to they're trying to push like her to be like oh look at how good she is oh oh like the there was this the one the the one arc with the little middle school i believe it's a, like a middle school girl or something it's a middle school girl and she sets the main character up on this date with a potential predator and everyone just laughs off like oh don't worry i i still want to be your friend and i'm like bro that is a bra moment man that just this why 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 are you looking over that man what the fuck <laughs> that's just this, and, I, and I'm like, all right, you've lost me. You've lost me. She, she's a child. Okay, <laughs> right. Number one, number one. Why are you so desperate to hang out with a child that just set you up on a date with a potential predator? No, that no, no, no. My suspension, my suspension of disbelief only goes so far, guys. That only goes so far. <laughs> and they're like, no, but okay, oh, oh, you just made a mistake. It's a little oopsie whoopsie. Don't worry, I still want to be friends. And I'm like, okay, no, you lost me. <laughs> You've lost me. This is just convoluted drama and con like, and and and, you know, um. So, oh, thank you very much for the ten gift subs. <laughs> so I would say that it is a little overrated. And I believe that's just because Shoujo fans have not been eating well. My personal opinion, but I had a lot of I had, I had a lot of issues with my love story with Yamadoka. And I do not hate romances. There are going to be some romances in my top favorite anime of the year. Um, but I believe that this was the most popular romance of the year. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's because because it has a gamer in it, doesn't it? Because it has a gamer in it. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's okay. Let's just ignore Skip and Loafer and, and Insomniacs. All right. Let's just. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe I'm a bit. Maybe I'm a bit salty, guys. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm a bit salty, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, records of Ragnarok. Um, <clears throat> this is not surprising. I didn't. I need to calm down a bit after that rant. <laughs> um, I feel like I forgot how popular Records of Ragnarok is uh, after the Netflix adaptation, but the manga still goes fucking hard. The manga still goes hard. I'm not caught up to date with it, but what can I say? The manga goes hard. Blue Box, did, didn't they just get announced for an anime?
Ah, okay. I've not I've not read this, but I've heard a lot of good things about this manga. Jump Fest, there will be a reveal. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, it, did, it, it is getting an anime. Blue Box is getting an anime. What is it about? What is it about? <clears throat> um, Taiki Inamata is on the boys' badminton team at Sports, uh, at Sports Powerhouse Eamon Junior and Senior High. He's in love with basketball player Chinatsu Kano, the older girl he trains alongside every morning in the gym. One spring day, their relationship take, takes a sharp turn and thus begins this brand new series of love, sports and youth. Ah, okay. So we have a sports romance. All right, I dig it, I dig it. I absolutely dig it. All right. <clears throat> okay, that's one to look out for then. Well, good to know that I don't have to read the manga for this because the anime is coming out. And finally, we have Bochi the Rock at number 20, which I think everyone was surprised at how much Bocce the Rock blew up last year or this year. Um, and what can I say? I think they did such a great job adapting it. I don't know if it's the Kaon kind of like thing where the anime is so much like different uh, than the original manga. Cause I believe the Bocce the Rock manga is a four coma gag manga, right? And I believe the anime is just so much fucking more than that. So, that was the top selling manga titles of 2023. There were a few surprises in there. There were a few surprises, but honestly, 90% of this was pretty much up to par with what I was expecting. <clears throat> but that's not all the news that was announced this previous month. I'm going to take a quick toilet break before I continue on with the other pieces of anime news. I will be right back, guys. All right, but this was also a very, very hot month for anime news. Uh, we got a bunch of different things being announced. The first thing that I want to talk about is... Dan Dan, Dan has an anime announcement, baby! Let's go! Okay, this is funny because I believe in the very last stream, the last stream I did, I got a message about, I got a message asking if I'd caught up to Dan Dan, Dan. <clears throat> and I got a message asking if I caught up to Dan Dan, Dan and I said, I have not read any more 
since what I've read in my manga stream. And the reason for that is because I pretty much am certain that an anime is coming out. And everyone's just like, oh, okay, okay, excuses gone, excuses, okay. Where are you guys now? Wake. Where are you guys now? Who, who fucking caught it? Who fucking caught it? I, we, I thought I would have to wait a few months, but no, I had to literally wait like a few days. So, before I say any more, let's have a look at this trailer, shall we? So we have an actual PV trailer. Ooh. Hold on, let me just... Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, luckily I know the I know what happens at the very beginning of this series, so hopefully there's going to be some things that I recognize. Yo, Science Saru, let's go! Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, I remember that- I remember that panel in the manga. That- that panel went so hard and this- <laughs> Oh, this looks good! Oh! Shit gives Jojo vibes, yeah. All right. Well, that was that was a short. Oops, that was a short one, but that was a short trailer. But that's all I needed, baby. Um, so one thing already surprises me. Kensuke Yushio is doing the music and Kensuke Yushio is, I think, personally, my favorite composer doing stuff right now. And it is, it is, it is very, very close between a few composers, but I think Kensuke Yushio is one of my favorite composers. Penkin, I know, I know, it's, it's, it's so, it's so hard. My, bo my boy, Kevin as well, but, I like Kensuke Ushio is just like every Sawano. Hello, okay, okay. I would consider putting Sawano up there if he can make more than five different tracks. <laughs> like, like I know exactly what I'm getting. Well, I know what I'm getting with Sawano. Like, it's it's always hype. It's always hype. But you know, he 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 has a certain style. And that certain style is always immediately recognizable. <laughs> the goddamn slander. Are you going to tell me I'm wrong, sir? Are you going to tell me I'm wrong? All right. He does one thing very, very well. All right. Kensuke Yushio, he does so many different... He's done like so many different styles. Um, <clears throat> he does so many different styles and has done so many amazing soundtracks as well. Um, like his most recent one is obviously Chainsaw Man, and he like I can't think of a bad soundtrack that he's done. You, you know, it's good when I always try to look for soundtracks to put in my own video, and I think ninety percent of my videos have some Kensuke Yushio track in it. <laughs> Heavenly Delusion. Oh yeah, he did do Heavenly Delusion and Silent Voice as well. Um. <laughs> This is this is like you're just naming out some of like my favorite soundtracks and like and Devil Man Cry Baby as well. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Name, bring bring me your weakest fighter. Oh, you have no weak you have no weak fighters. Okay, ping pong the animation as well. Ping pong the animation. Oh well. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, he's actually a god. Yes, I know. He's actually goated. All right. Yeah. So. 
he does very like different kind of like sometimes weirder takes on like OSTs, which is why I like him. I'm excited for the music because music plays a part in the plot later. Oh, does it? Oh, oh, I'm hyped then. <clears throat> Kensuke Himshio. <laughs> um, and I, I think that his music, you know, I've only read the first few chapters of Dandadan Dan, and his music fits the weird vibe of Dandadan Dan perfectly. Not only that, but it is science Saru doing the animation and by god if there is a animation company that I trust to do some of the weirder scenes some of the more unhinged scenes in Dandadan Dan Dan, it is Science Saru all right that's like there were a few studios that I would be on, that would be on my wish list to adapt Dandadan Dan Dan, and Science Saru would definitely up there they made Devil Man Cry Baby. Yeah, I know. They made Devil Man Cry Baby. So they definitely can do weird stuff. Trigger also. Trigger was also on that short list as well. But I do think that Science Saru are going to do an amazing job with Dan to Dan. Um, so a lot of this team is from actually Chainsaw Man. So we've got the series composer, <clears throat> which is from Chainsaw Man as well. So this is looking like it is going to be Let's see. With Fuga Yamashiro, Ko's assistant director of Keep Your Hands of Aizuken and director of Heiki Stories, uh, Heiki Monogatari's 10th episode at the helm. Okay. So it is not Masaki Yuasa directing this because I believe this is his animation company that is producing it. But either way, this is already one of my most hyped new anime to come out <clears throat> when is it airing when do we have an air date 2024 on air okay 2024 Woo! 2024 baby <laughs> mm. <clears throat> all right let me see okay okay so I'm wondering how many chapters of Dandadan Dan is out right now. I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to remember how many chapters are out right now. Is it like a good sizable chapter over a hundred? 130. Alright, alright, that's that's a decent amount. Um I'm gonna see if there's any more staff members that we're missing out. <clears throat> The latest arc was insanely good. Okay, okay, I'm excited. Okay, Yamashiro Fuga. Okay, so that's pretty much all the staff members that have been released so far. That's okay. That's all right. Bro. I'm, I'm like personally wondering how they're going to do some of like the more sus scenes in this. All right, moving on though. Oshinoko season two has also been announced for 2024. And I believe they have a new trailer coming out. So let's go. I hope this isn't just a PNG trailer. Is this a trailer trailer? This is the trailer where the marketing team is like, Alright boys, we got one image. We got our, we got one image, boys. What can we do with this one image? <laughs> How far can we push this? <laughs> All right. But I am still very, very excited because I believe they are going to be doing the theater arc, which is, uh, I, I really, really enjoyed the theater arc. <laughs> Oshinoko filled that void for me that Getting the name. Act Age. That's the one. <clears throat> uh, because I, I believe Act Age, 
if I remember correctly, stopped at its theater arc. And a lot of people were disappointed with Oshinoko because of reasons that I said earlier. Um, but to me, Oshinoko definitely has filled in that void that Act Age, like, it definitely filled that gap that Act Age once inhabited. Um, and the theater arc is one of my favorite arcs. I think it's actually, I can't remember how much more I've read past the theater arc. Um, I think the last time I read it was when the theater arc ended and I th said I was going to catch up, but I was like, I read the theater arc and I was like, all right, I'm satisfied for now. That's all the manga chapters that are out. I'm gonna wait until there are more manga chapters out. So I'm very, very excited for season two. So I thought I thought we were gonna get, get an actual trailer for this one. Is there any like is there any arcs after the theater arc that are as strong for any manga readers that are watching right now? It gets weirder from there on. You mean it wasn't, and it fell off after that. <laughs> this this is every time I ask you guys. It, it's like, does it get is this does it get better after this? And and they're like, no, no, it falls off, falls off. <laughs> The incest arc. <laughs> the current arc is off right now. Is that because of the kind of people that you guys are? Or is it just actually good right now? <laughs> is that just because of the audience I have? Or <laughs> yes to both. All right. <clears throat> All right, either way, I'm very, very excited for the theater arc. It is a very, very good arc. All right, moving on though, we have, what else do we have? We have The Great Pretender, another season or another movie. I'm not sure what this is, but The Great Pretender is getting a sequel. And I don't know how to feel about this. I am happy, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I really, really fucking enjoyed the first season. And I was completely satisfied with everything that the first season did. Should I watch season one? Yes, you absolutely should watch season one. Um, it is great. The ending pushes your suspension of disbelief to its limits. And that was my problem with the ending of Great Pretender. Um, like it was like a small little blemish because I've really, really enjoyed the entire show. Um, but I mean, I'm still probably gonna watch this, but I'm not like, this is not, this is not the one I'm like super, super hype about just because I was completely satisfied with everything I saw in season one. So to me, it would have to do something above and beyond anything that season one had presented to get me back into this show. So I am, I'm going to see how this one played out. <clears throat> it's good, it's very good for anyone interested in translation and language yeah the one thing that really stood out for me about the show was just how international it was um i loved you, you you rarely see anime that is so fucking international tackling different countries different people different cultures uh and that was like great pretender did that and it did that well which is what i really really enjoyed plot plot twist the mc is the girl if we get a new mc I might actually, I might actually get back into it. That actually, that's actually a good enough, that's actually a good enough, like, that's, that's a good enough reason to do something new with the franchise. So if it's, if it's a new protagonist, I would be all about that. Ending somewhere is a banger, don't, not gonna lie. Everything was great until the ending ruined it. I don't think it ruined it. Um, it was definitely a blemish though. So I am going to be watching this but I'm going to keep my expectations in reasonable check. All right, moving on. This one kind of came out of nowhere. I did not know 
where the fuck this one came out, but Netflix announced that they are doing a Terminator anime. That did just... What? <clears throat> what? Where the hell did this come from? All right. All right. I don't know if this is an actual trailer or if it's just an announcement. Um... Sarah Connor son. <laughs> Yo, that text was hype. Okay, so it was just an announcement. <laughs> it was just an announcement trailer. All right. <clears throat> Either way, one thing I saw was that there seems to be a lot of crossover now between Western IPs and Japanese animation studios. I think Production IG can do a great job. Um, Production IG, personally, uh, are one of the strongest teams when it comes to adapting sci-fi shows, I believe. Um, I can't remember what... Who did... Who did Star Wars again? Was Production IG involved with Star Wars? They did Heavenly Delusions recently, right? That was, that was fucking great. That was fucking great. And of course they did Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> Also Scott Pilgrim? No, Scott Pilgrim was Science Saru. There's a Star Wars anime? Yes, there is a Star Wars anime. It is actually pretty damn good. I really, really, I really, really, really enjoyed Star Wars, the Star Wars anime. <clears throat> but, that, but that was like a bunch of studios. I believe Production IG did one of the shorts for the Star Wars anime as well. Um, <clears throat> but... I didn't know that Terminator was still relevant, if I'm being honest. Uh, I will get hype. I will get hype if Arnold Schwarzenegger is in this some way, somehow. That, that would be, that would be insane. Imagine, imagine if he, even he, even if he just makes a cameo or something, even if he just makes a cameo or something, like that would be on my bucket list just to see like the wildest shit you could have never dreamed of. Actually having Arnold Schwarzenegger in a real actual anime. That is if, that is if of course. My anime list allows this anime to be on their listing. Cause who knows, who knows? Is this an anime? Who knows my anime list? Is it? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, does, does it have Arnold Schwarzenegger in it? Not an anime. Not an anime. <laughs> because that's not all. That's not all. We don't just stop at the Terminator, guys. We don't just stop at the Terminator. I, I, like, I like how someone said there should be a John Wick anime because uh, that has actually been fucking announced. The director of John Wick has confirmed that there are now plans in motion to make a John Wick anime. What the fuck is going on in the world of anime right now? Right, what, what timeline are we in? <laughs> you mean, we are, we now have the possibility to get both Arnold Schwarzenegger and Keanu Reeves in a real anime? <laughs> Honestly, I'm a bit lukewarm on the Terminator anime, a John Wick anime. Holy shit. I, this, I am all for it. Okay, hear me out. Guys, guys, hear me out. John Wick by Studio Trigger. Just, 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 just hear me out, guys. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. It will go to space. I can't just. I I would I would happily I would happily let it go to space. 
<laughs> Can you imagine a trigger John Wick scene in space? God, that would go so fucking hard. Now, nah, John Wick Shippuden. I mean, obviously, you know, you know, you know what would be even funny having like the John Wick licorice recoil like crossover that we all never knew that we needed, but that would also be hype. <clears throat> That's just cyberpunk. Actually, you're kind of right. We're just this is just cyberpunk edge runners all over again. Slice of life, John Wick. That would be that would be so funny. We we make a John Wick anime. Actually, it's just uh, John Wick living his daily life. This was before when he was just living life with his dog. Um, that that that's like the John Wick anime that we would be making. But yes. There is plans in motion for a John Wick anime, and now it's getting to the point where I'm thinking what other big Western IP franchises is going to be announced for an anime, like, is going to be announced for an anime. Because we've already had Suicide Squad, we've got now John Wick, we have got Terminator. What's next? <laughs> Fucking Grand Theft Auto? It's just like, it's Breaking Bad? <laughs> <laughs> die Hard? I would, I would be down for a Die Hard anime. Oh, Avatar? <laughs> James Cameron's Avatar, right? James James Cameron's Avatar. Spider-Man? I thought Spider-Man already had... Rick and Morty? I, I, I don't know if you're capping or not, but Rick and Morty has already been announced as an anime. <laughs> I'm like... <clears throat> The Rick and Morty anime is already coming out, guys. There's already a trailer that exists for the Rick and Morty anime. What? Yes, I know. <laughs> Maybe Harry Potter? You know what? If a Harry Potter anime comes out, I might actually watch Harry Potter. <laughs> Cause uh I, I I never I never got into Harry Potter at all. Um keeping in that same vein though, it seems like The Naruto live action movie has is actually coming to fruition. And this is a double and this is like <sighs> and number one, Polygon. <laughs> Polygon, thank you for <laughs> Thank you for putting a Naruto movie as the headline and, uh, and and putting clearly the main character of Naruto in your article right there. Oh, I love this character. Oh, yes. Gen Z Naruto. Oh, what's the difference, guys? What's the difference? Oh, oh, this background character? This back oh, 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 I don't know who this background character is. Never heard of him. Oh, yes, this is, uh, this is the real Naruto right now. <clears throat> but, I saw this was going to happen, but One Piece broke the live-action curse. No, it was not the first good live-action adaptation of all time, but to me, I believe it was the first well-received live-action adaptation of a massively, of a massively popular franchise. And because of that, now, and because of One Piece, now everyone looks at a live action adaptation and everyone's gonna go, well, they made One Piece work. No, no, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that shit in the background. I'm, I'm ignoring that shit. One Piece is maybe you, maybe One Piece is just goaded, guys. Maybe, maybe One Piece is just goaded. Maybe, maybe they can fuck it up. Of course they could fuck it up, but, but maybe it was like destined to be great. Maybe One Piece was destined to be the only good anime adaptation, guys. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows, guys? Who knows? <laughs> uh, but one thing that definitely makes me more worried about a narrative live action is that it's going to be a movie and not a TV series. And I do not think that this would translate well. Like, may like live action series is one thing, live action movie is a whole other thing. Because what are they gonna do? Just the Zabuza arc? They, I, I don't, 
I don't know how they would go about adapting this when it's just in uh, when it's just in movie form. <clears throat> it's definitely not gonna just be Zabaza. That's what I'm saying. That's that's kind of what I'm saying. But I, as much as much as I enjoyed the live action One Piece adaptation. I don't want more live action adaptations. I just I just don't. I I don't want more live action adaptations. I, I will be okay with One Piece. There are certain franchises that I would be okay being adapted into live action. Um but Naruto is just something that <clears throat> I don't think needs a live action adaptation. Hunter Hunter live action would be crazy. <laughs> What if they did Evangelion? Evangelion's one of the few live-action adaptations I would actually be okay with. Do you know why? Just to see how far they... <laughs> because if they do an Evangelion live-action adaptation, I cannot see it being anything but a complete train wreck. But you know that it would be the most glorious train wreck of all time. <laughs> Pacific Rim Ava Pacific Rim Evangelion? Okay, okay, okay. Actually, Pacific Rim is uh, pretty hype. <laughs> Hospital scene IRL. <laughs> it's just... Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. But uh, any of Naoki Urasawa's work will firstly need to be adapted into anime, but I would also be happy to adapt it, to see it adapted into live action. Attack on Titan? And ironically, I think that Attack on Titan could work fucking great if they were able to make the Titans look somewhat not in the uncanny level. <laughs> um, Attack on Titan, like if they could somehow work out the CG, they did it and it failed. Yeah, the reason it, they did it and it failed is because the uh, Titans looked shit. It would need a lot. It would need a lot more money. <clears throat> it would need a fucking massive budget. Um, but it's a fucking great story. Do you think sports manga could be good? I uh, sports manga is the last kind of genre I would like seeing adapted, just because I think. I mean, it already has real sports to contend with. Maybe? I'm, I'm trying to think. Are there... <clears throat> are there like... Are there like real sports shows that I actually watch that I enjoy? Like live action sports shows? <sighs> Shaolin Soccer? Shaolin Soccer... Hmm. I, th I feel like Shaolin Soccer works so well Shaolin Soccer works so well just because of the director of that. <laughs> Kung Fu Football, yeah. Space Jam, actually you're right, you're right, you're right. Maybe what we need, <laughs> maybe what we need is a... Uh, <laughs> maybe what we need is uh, Lionel Messi uh, in the Blue Lock adaptation with... Uh, with fucking Naruto or something. <laughs> we, need, we need, we need anime's equivalent we need anime's equivalent of Space Jam. We don't need Bugs Bunny. We need fucking Luffy and Naruto head to head against Lionel Messi. That's <laughs> then I'd fucking watch it. Then I would fucking watch it. All right. Moving on to upcoming anime. <clears throat> Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai is coming back. And uh, this one seems to be an actual TV series. I don't actually I don't know if it's a TV series or if it's a movie, but one thing that stood out to me is that it is a university arc. I was completely satisfied with Bunny Girl Senpai, but going to university? Okay, actually, now I'm hype. Now I'm fucking hype. Now I have a reason to watch again because we you know, we've had the high school phase. We don't need that anymore. Going, like having seen the characters grow up and going through a new stage and going through university, that genuinely sounds interesting to me. 
<clears throat> it's definitely it's definitely following Monogatari. Well, it's definitely not beating the uh, Normie Monogatari out of uh, like. It's definitely not beating the Monogatari allegations. I will say that. I will say that. But wasn't Rent a Girlfriend set in university? Are you are you really gonna compare this to Rent a Girlfriend, my guy? <laughs> my guy, are you gonna look at this and gonna be like, yeah? Just reminds me of Rent a Girlfriend, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but like guys, guys, you know another manga or another series that started off in high school and then went to university and is actually goaded unlike rent a girlfriend? Domestic girlfriend, baby. What can I say? What can I say? And you know what? It was the that's that's when it got like <laughs> no, it was always great. It was always great. I I, I can't say it got better. I can't say go better. <laughs> I, I, I can't say go better. <laughs> but <clears throat> this always excites me because more anime needs. I would. I, I love seeing more anime go into the university phase or seeing anime characters grow up and go into a new stage of life. Um, especially when it comes to romance anime, where they kind of end up together and then the story just ends. And I'm like, why are you ending the story at high school? University is when the real drama happens. You think, you think I give a shit about the stuff that happened to me in high school? No, university is when the real drama happened because it made me realize, oh, I'm somewhat of a semi-functioning adult now. Oh, what? I am responsible for my own actions. And if I don't turn up to lectures, then I'm fucked because the lecturer doesn't give a shit. This, this, this has me excited. University made me realize I want to kill myself. Okay, well, I'm glad to see that uh, you're still with us, my guy. Keep, <laughs> keep with it, man. Um, but I don't understand more why more anime are not set in university. Because I think, personally, university was a much more interesting phase of my life. And I think that there is way more stuff that you could possibly, there are way more stories to be told and way more angles that you could go with. <clears throat> so, because of this arc, I'm going to catch up to Bunny Girl Senpai. I haven't watched the two latest movies, but now I have a reason to catch up. Moving on to something, something a little lighthearted, guys, something a little lighthearted. Um... How many of you guys have been to Japan before? How, how many of you guys have been to Japan? Speaking of university students, all right. Who here has ever experienced a kotatsu? And if you don't know what a kotatsu is, do you watch anime? Do you, do you watch anime? Do you watch anime? Because a kotatsu is kind of like a heated... It's kind of like a heated coffee table. And let me tell you the first time, <clears throat> the first time I experienced a kotatsu in winter, it was goddamn life changing. I thought to myself, life could not get better than this. Life has peaked under this kotatsu. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that they have improved on perfection because Japan has released the first gaming kotatsu <laughs> they, we've done it boys we have done it you can now buy a gaming kotatsu I just okay actually actually I think I might get one <laughs> it's just <laughs> I think I might get one. <laughs> because gaming with a desk, nah, okay? Gaming with a desk, amateur shit. I want a game under my heated blankets. I want, to, I want to game under my heated coffee table. This looks like the comfiest fucking setup I've seen in my life. Where's the, R where's the RGB? Oh, yeah, actually, you're right. You're right, guys. You're right. <laughs> Shit. 
All right. There are some improvements that could be made. It's okay. It's okay. This is just... This is just version one, guys. This is just version one. This is version one, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be gaming so hard, guys. You're never gonna see me again, cause you might, you're gonna, you're probably gonna find me dead under this Kotatsu, and I'm probably gonna be playing fucking, um, definitely, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not Honka. <laughs> hopefully, I find, uh, I'm found dead with a respectable game. But uh, yeah, this is, this is uh. This is something that I I unironically got excited for. I never knew. I never thought about gaming under a Kotatsu. But uh, now that winter is rolling around, I'm like, damn. That uh, that looks pretty damn good. League of Legends. Oh my god. <clears throat> and moving on to next. All right, that was, that was a bit of a light bit. The Suicide Squad Isekai trailer has finally been released. Now, I haven't watched this yet. So let's have a look at this trailer. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> God, the cosplay will be insane. God. Nah. You're speaking like... <laughs> Don't Suicide Squad cosplays already exist? <clears throat> nah. I don't want to fix her. The most nah. sane Harley Quinn fan. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't think Harley Quinn fans could get more horny. But I think I think it's going to happen. I th I think it's going to happen. They are going to break <laughs> they're going to break the bounds of horniness. The only thing was the only thing that was missing was anime Harley Quinn. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> We're not ready. The world isn't ready. Oh. Ooh, okay, okay. <clears throat> this is... This is fucking wild. I'm sorry. <laughs> just you tell me that this is a Suicide Squad isekai, and my brain processes it, and then I watch it, and I'm just like, who thought of this? Why is this a thing? Why? Why? <laughs> why? Why does this exist in the world? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Suicide art online. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Studio Wit carrying again, man. Studio Wit. Woo! Do they ever miss? Clayface is hot, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Bro, they've anime fied everyone man <laughs> Every, everyone's hot now everyone's even hotter oh no oh shit wait are we gonna get john cena are we actually are we gonna get john cena in the dub please tell me we're gonna get john cena in the dub oh oh are we looking respectfully, guys? Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> I, I didn't... I don't think the world is ready for anime Harley Quinn. I just... I just don't. I just... Anime fans and Harley Quinn fans are horny enough in a vacuum. And now you're combining them. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna reach a new level, man. We're gonna... We're gonna reach a new level. <laughs> 
犯罪者の部隊スーサイドスクワットが Now guys, it's not, <coughs> it's not because I like Isekai, that genuinely looks good, that genuinely looks good, and I do have a trust in Studio Wits, I, I do have a trust in Studio Wits, come on guys, come on, alright, you guys, you, you guys are calling me out. I know you're gonna go. I know you guys are gonna watch this for anime Harley Quinn. Don't fucking lie to me. All right, we were all sold in one fucking scene of this trailer. Let's be honest, guys. Don't lie to me. All right. Why are we trying to deny it? Why are we trying to deny it? Let's just say we have anime Harley Quinn, and we have that and Isekai. What more? What more can we ask for? What more can we ask for? This is what we needed when the East. And the West meet, guys. <laughs> let's just isekai everyone now. Let's just, let's, is, is the Terminator anime gonna be isekai? Is John Wick gonna be isekai? Cause let me tell you, a John Wick isekai, a John Wick isekai anime is gonna go hard. It would definitely go fucking hard. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can you, can you actually fucking imagine that? <clears throat> <laughs> Bro, huffing that copium. <laughs> Look, all right. Unironically, I think this could be a sleeper hit of the season, especially with Studio Wit and the writer of Re Zero at the helm. Um, and from the trailer, it looks like it's actually going to be pretty fucking good. So. There seems to be a lot that is going for this, even though the concept of this is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Is Suicide Squad, how could it be a sleeper? Because nobody really expects big Western IPs to translate. I, I think like, do big Western IPs normally translate well into anime? I'm trying to think. I, I feel like people, I feel like people don't really don't people don't really talk about it because nobody nobody really talks about the Star Wars anime. Cyberpunk is like pretty much the only one that people really got hype about. But Marvel has an anime, no one really talks about that. Batman has an anime, no one really talks about that. Um, Halo has an anime, no one really talks about that. Transformers is technically an anime. Damn, you guys are going back, man. You you guys are going back. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys are going back. But yeah, Iron Man and Wolverine have an anime. So I feel like comic book fans and anime fans don't usually mix, but I feel like they are offsetting that with this right now because they just add Isekai on it and they know that people like me exist and... <laughs> Then look, look, here's the thing. <clears throat> there is some bias against Western IPs as anime fans. If there wasn't, then my anime list would not be banning Scott Pilgrim from being listed on their site, okay? <laughs> okay. Actually, let me check. Let me check. Is Rick and Morty listed on my anime list? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, sh <laughs> is this real? No, this this is not the real one. This is not the real one. This must be. That's not all right. All right, that's not Studio Dean's Rick and Morty. All right, so it's it's not it's not on my anime list. All right, even though. Even though it's made in, even though it's made in Japan, all right, I get it, I get it. We'll gate, we'll gatekeeping now, we'll gatekeeping now. <laughs> but oh, it's, it's Suicide Squad better you bet better be on here. Ah, okay, okay, I see the difference. The difference is the. F <laughs> 
<laughs> the difference is the fact that it has Isika in the title. Okay, I see now, I see. <laughs> They're like, all right, it has a Japanese word in it. All right, we'll give you the pass. We'll give you the pass. It's Isekai. It's Isekai. <laughs> but we're not going to call it... So we're going to call it Isekai Suicide Squad. <laughs> waifu diff? <laughs> You're right. It has the waifu diff. <laughs> yeah, I do not know what's the... Uh, I, don't, I, do, I do not know what the logic is anymore behind what gets listed on Mal and what doesn't. <clears throat> Either way. That was all of the news I wanted to go through today on this new stream. Uh, this might not be the last new stream of the month. I don't know. Um, I don't know how many more articles or how many more things are going to come out at the end of the year. Oh, Arcane Season 2? All right, all right, all right. We, we can go over that. I forgot about that. <laughs> all right, guys, guys. If you didn't know, Arcane Season 2 is coming out. It is not, that is not anime news. Hello, my anime list. I don't, welcome to, I don't give a fuck. Let's just, let's just, let's just watch this. Let's just watch this one more time. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just watch this one more time. <laughs> Top 10 animes that Joey's not going to watch. Ooh. Ooh. November 2024. All right. Every way I slice it. If I go after your sister alone, one of us comes back in a box. I can do this myself. No one else needs to get hurt. Bro did the GTA 5, GTA 6 teaser trailer covers. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what guys it's a long wait 2024 is a long wait but it's okay it's it's okay it's okay well, let them cook guys let them cook i feel like people need to learn more patience with some of the exciting shit that gets announced because god forbid there is already enough things for us to be watching let's not take a page out of Mappa's book. Let's, when things get announced at a reasonable date, let's just let them cook, guys. Let's let's just let them cook. <clears throat> it's just a year, man. I know, I know. Like, what? What's the problem? What like? What gave me this reaction was seeing the reaction to the GTA 6 trailer, and people were just like, "Fucking 2025? That's like two years away." And I'm like, "All right, but." You got your trailer announcement. Would you prefer to, like, would you, would you prefer to have it earlier and have another cyberpunk? Or would you just be nice to just wait and know that it's coming out? You know, there's plenty of games. <laughs> there's plenty of games to play in between now and then. Time will be flying. I know. I know. Genshin Anime 2? Okay. Now we're talking. Now, now we're talking. What I hope... What I hope with Arcane Season 2 is that we get to see more, uh, we get to see more areas that were not explored. That would be fucking hype. Uh, if we get to see them go to Noxia or something like that, that would, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. But that's everything that I wanted to go through today. Sorry, Noxia Noxus. <laughs> I don't know why I said Noxia. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's okay. I'm 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 a League of Legends player. I'm I, I play League. I play League, guys. I play League. I play League, guys. <laughs> I <laughs> Bro, you good? I am good. I am good. Um <clears throat> Have you seen the uh Spy Family Street Fighter collab? I saw that on my Twitter recently. Let me see this one.
boobs contest. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's... They fully animated it. Okay. I thought this was going to be in-game. Yeah, damn! Oh shit, okay! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Yo! Yo, that's sick! <laughs> Yo, gameplay versus cutscene, am I right, guys? <laughs> Gameplay versus cutscene. Yo, if only I played Street Fighter. I did. If only I played Street Fighter, god damn it. If only I was into uh, fighting games. Yo, I didn't I didn't expect the uh I didn't I, I didn't expect the anime to the animation to go that hard. Alright. I saw someone ask earlier today when the... So, I've decided we're going to be doing Genshin trailers now. So that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing next. Unless there is anything else that um, got announced before we start this. Gundam anime? There's a new Gundam anime out. Is this Gundam Seed? What is this? Is this is this the one you're talking about? Focusing on the European But well, now now I'm confused about what this one is, so I'm gonna watch this one. We don't need a live action Gundam. This is this is the closest we're gonna get to a live action Gundam. Guys, this <laughs> Well, I can definitely say that it's probably going to look better than X-Arm. Hey, hon. Time to want dinner. Uh, what time are you going to be hungry? What time are you going to be hungry? I don't know. Anything any sounds good to me. Hold on. Uh, I'll probably just take a break for dinner and then come back to streaming. Okay, so... Alright. Okay. Maybe around 6.30 then? Okay. They'll be done by 6.30. Okay. <clears throat> bar so low, it's not even a bar. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> hey look, we take what we take what we're given, alright? We take what we're given. Don't forget the Gundam in Ready Player One. Oh, I completely forgot about that. <clears throat> I completely forgot about that. All right, well, that was not on my bucket list of things I thought I would see, but a CGI... <laughs> CGI Gundam? All right. Tower of God Season 2. I mean, that was already announced, but if you didn't know, Tower of God is getting a second season that is coming out in 2024. I guess we can go over this. So, we have a new trailer for Tower of God. Even though I think this is just going to be an announcement trailer. Yeah, it's 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 another PNG trailer. <laughs> All right, but oh 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 shit! Multiple PNGs, guys. Multiple PNGs. We are eating good today. We are we are eating good. <laughs>
Colored panels, Pog. Baby's first webtoon. Yo, rectangle's hitting hard, man. All right. Well, I'm still excited for Tower of God Season 2. Did you guys enjoy Tower of God Season 1? Who here enjoyed Tower of God Season 1 at all? <clears throat> nope, nope, it was okay. It was okay, yes, very much. For me, reading the webtoon, Tower of God Season 2 is the point where it started to grab me. This was like, I'm actually really, really excited because it took me so long to read what season one had covered and then part two hit and I'm like, okay, I'm reading like a hundred chapters in a day. Um, it's, this, this is going to be the, this is going to be better than season one. I really, really hope it, if it, if it adapts part two, or like enough of part two, this is going to be so much better than season one. The best way I can describe it is, you know, the Hunter Hunter arc where it was just like the Hunter exam. And then you had the concept of Nen being introduced. That's kind of like what it felt like with part two. It, it felt like it just, it, it kind of felt like, okay, now you're, now you're showing like the true potential of what this world and what this series could be. Um, and also another thing, you have a time skip as well. <laughs> Everyone's older, you have a time skip. Yay, fucking hype. <clears throat> I hope so, cause season one was super mid. Yeah, I, I heard that the, um, I thought that season one was a little bit Eh. But to me, season two is when, like, part two of Tower of God is when it really grabbed me. So I'm really, really excited about this. So yeah, yeah. They cut so much. I mean, I'm kind of glad that they cut a lot. Um, because if they needed to cut a lot to get to part two, I'll take it because... I wasn't really, like, even in the webtoon, I, I was very lukewarm about part one. But if that meant adapting season two faster, I'll fucking take it. I'll take it. All right. I saw someone asked earlier about when the anime, when the next anime watch stream is going to be. Um, and... It, the next anime watch stream is actually going to be a sponsored stream because um, I'm being sponsored by High Dive um, and the next anime watch stream is going to be next Monday. I have not got the final word of what the regions are going to be, but I'm going to be honest, guys. This one's a sponsored stream, so it's kind of out of my control but we will be streaming eminence and shadow and uh i um i recommended that normally they wanted to do one or two episodes for sponsored stream i was like no let me let me watch five episodes you know why i want to watch five episodes let me watch five episodes of season one so that's what we're going to be doing that's what we're going to be doing and um it is going to be streaming live on Twitch, but also it's going to be streaming simultaneously on my YouTube channel as well, my Gant YouTube channel. So I've heard some people can't get a certain service to work on Twitch. So um, if that doesn't work, then you can also go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> when is this? This is on Monday at 10.30 AM JST. <clears throat> so it's going to be my first uh, regions. I have not got confirmations on the regions yet, unfortunately, but it is going to be my first multi-platform stream, um, which I'm probably going to try and do for all future Anime Watch streams. So that should be exciting. I could not go past episode one, bro. 
Bro, you're in for a treat. If you if you don't want if you don't want to watch anime by yourself, don't worry. We're gonna be watching it with a bunch of other people, and we get to. I can't wait to get to a certain moment in the stream. That's going to be so hyped to watch with a lot of other people. <laughs> season one or season two? We're starting right at the beginning, baby. Season one. Season one. All right. <laughs> 